there's a storm system churning to our south. This will be bringing us a potential for accumulating snowfall, especially tomorrow. Currently, we're watching the system it is developing and ever changing. The system is just off to our south, churning in the Gulf of Mexico. But you can actually see some snow showers off in Austin, Texas. Even Mississippi dealing with some snow showers, so this is a strong system that we are watching. It's moving in more of a northeasterly fashion, but the trajectory is more of a westerly pattern. So looking ahead here with future tracker on a wider scale, that low by about three o'clock still in the Gulf of Mexico. It is going to be near Florida by the time noon rolls around, but notice what happens by about noon for us. We're looking at some uh, snow showers initially breaking through that dry air. It looks like by about noon on Friday, continuing for portions of the area through Saturday. These are going to be rain and snow showers, and it looks like higher snowfall totals at this moment in time are expected to be more towards the south. We're looking towards south side, and uh, even in the locations towards the Newburgh Valley could see the potential for accumulating snowfall with the higher amounts near south side. And this uh, last bullet point here, the path could definitely change. If it shifts even further off to the west, we're actually going to see some of those higher snowfall totals. If it shifts off to the east, well, we're going to be on the lower end of the spectrum. So definitely we will be here to keep you up to date on all platforms. Looking a little bit closer to home, I think Friday morning, this is overdoing it by the 7 o'clock hour. We might see some of those returns on the radar, but I don't think it'll be completely working through that drier air by then. By about noon, I think it'll finally work through that drier air. We're going to see some snow showers. That'll be these darker shaded colors, the blue, the pinks that you see here, kind of that wintry mix, some rain and snow incorporated within it. And we're also going to see some rain showers more specifically off to our east where there's going to be some warmer temperatures by Friday afternoon. We're still looking at especially off towards south side, including Marnesville, Danville, even south Boston, seeing those snow showers continue, those darker colors that you see coming up on future track. That'll also certainly be the case as we progress into our Saturday. And then as that sh uh, system continues to drift off to the northeast, then we're going to see that taper off. And then some portions of Saturday, we're looking at some light snow showers for the mountains as well. So projected snowfall totals. Again, these could change in the coming hours. Every model that is uh, output here for us, it is changing. So we're going to keep you up to date with the latest snowfall tolls. But this is from Friday through about Saturday. A coating to about an inch uh, near Blacksburg, including Roanoke, and just uh, near Lexington, and including the Lynchburg. Now that pink here that you see, about one to three inches will be possible and includes Martinsville, Danville, as well as South Boston. But we're also focusing our attention if that trajectory goes a little bit further off to the west, this that is uh, uh, circled in red. Higher snowfall totals will be possible, so we're keeping very close tabs on it. The, the snow really needs to overcome some drier. We have that currently in place. Also, we have very warm ground temperatures, 40 to 50 degrees west to east. So South Boston, Danville, Martinsville, very warm ground temperatures. So what initially falls will definitely melt on contact first, and then it'll start accumulating. So temperature wise for tomorrow, we're looking at 30s and low 40s. If you're heading to Dickens Winter Carnival, you will be dealing with cold temperatures and you might see a few flurries from time to time. Some snow showers for Saturday. And then we do have another uh, punch of cold air heading for us on Sunday. Monday, we're looking at temperatures a little warmer and then cooling back down midweek. But more importantly, we're definitely keeping tabs on this ever changing system. We'll be here for you on all platforms.